Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're playing I Love You Colonel Sanders. I figure like a good dating simulator. This is what my life has come to. Next, I'll probably play McDonald's. Mmm. Ba 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 ba. I'm loving it. New game. Let's get started. <laughs> Welcome, Chef. Before we get started, tell us your name. What should your name be? I already know my YouTube name is Discordium Blood. Let's go. Hmm. This could be an opportunity for something funny. Hmm. What should I do? Oh my god, I know. <laughs> yes. Oh look, being a teacher playing KFC. I ain't vegan, I love meat. Just disclose on that. Hate the vegan teacher. So yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's torture her name. Vegan teacher, why? That should be my title. What are you doing, vegan teacher? Nothing. You don't see me with this chicken basket. Mmm, that's yummy, delicious chicken. Chicken and biscuits, chicken and biscuits, chicken and biscuits, chicken and biscuits. Chicken and biscuit, chicken and a biscuit. Chicken and a biscuit, chicken and a biscuit. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading with a chicken and a biscuit. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading with a chicken and a biscuit. I look, it looks like BTS right there. Kung Fu Chicken. Yeah, KFC box. You sleep slowly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You can stay in the moment forever. through the school here and gave up on a once a lifetime opportunity to <laughs> meet Colonel Sanders. I give up. Let's try that again. I swear if my clock clicks like that it's going out the fucking window. Oh my god I gotta calm down. Mmm. Look at these tasty chicken and biscuit, chicken and biscuit, chicken and biscuit, chicken and biscuit, chicken and biscuit. I'm loving these chicken and a biscuit. Which is actually funny for me because I can't eat KFC. I gotta have Popeyes. You sleep softly, blah blah blah. 
warm light caressing my beautiful vegan teacher skin. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. I'm gonna. Ooh, I'm gonna die after this. Laying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, think about everything. Ooh. That awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wander. Hmm. Being in teacher thinking about Colonel Sanders. I better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. <laughs> I need a minute. Mm. Oh my god, I need a minute. Oh, my day choice. <laughs> I'm gonna... Oh, I'm gonna laugh myself to death. You must do your morning checklist. Teeth brushed. Hair combed. Pits deodorized. Nothing could stop me now. Mm hmm I'm the vegan teacher. I'm relentless. You confidently grab a biscuit. Straight out the, straight out the door and head off the class. <laughs> I bet you that biscuit ain't vegan either. <laughs> Just what you need to keep your blood flowing like a biscuit. Oh, oh wow. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. Oh, she looks cute. Vegan teachers of the city. <laughs> Friggin' like crazy. Most adorably awkward person you ever met. You absolutely love her for it. Yeah, she looks adorable. Oh, look a little bell right there with her chef hat. <laughs> oh, I so need a minute. Oh, I can't. Listen to the music and take a chicken and a biscuit. <laughs> oh, man, I'm taking a picture of this. Teacher, are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? <laughs> because I sure am excited. <laughs> it's okay, okay, a lot nervous, like this much. What? The? It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself. <sighs> but well, would I eat it? I couldn't taste any of the love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Oh, look at this sad face. <laughs> 
Classic Mary raised by Master Chef parents. She always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quick sandbox, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're doing great. Sweet girl. <laughs> Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chanted. Who was practicing on a mannequin? Your best friend change this check to school talk to, uh, prep talk. Yeah, remember last month we saw the fortune teller in her tarot card read the lady with the mask who gave me nightmares. I've been trying to forget. And she looks spooky. She was so sweet as she told you you were destined for great things. Remember that card with the fancy looking tower. And that other card featuring the handsome fellow in a red suit. Ooh. I've been waiting so long. <laughs> but I'm sure you will soon. <laughs> and no time will gr graduate it and you'll be... Lighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time. Yeah, I believe in you, bestie. My name was <laughs> Good Teacher. As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nervousness and ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. Can you believe I cut them myself? I can't read the rest. You definitely can't believe it. Uh, I cannot believe it. Before you could get another one. Rudely interrupted when someone smacks your book with a custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands onto the ground. Why measuring spoons? <laughs> Hey, it's what? A is Leah. I'm I'm just gonna call you Aaliyah. Ashley. Yeah, let's go with that Ashley. Your arch rival is totally evil, Beak. And I hope to be filled with jealousy. She's eating meat. She can get anything she wants and knows it. Mm -hmm. Sass. Sass with big boobs. Hello, Ashley. Whatever the hell your name is. Oh, I did it. 
say that. Chicken shins. Chicken shins. Chicken shins? You leave vegan teacher shits alone. <laughs> They're perfectly normal shits. I don't know, she looks pretty twiggy to me. Uh, you can't stand us. <laughs> yeah, even her name is annoying. You know for a fact it's actually Ashley. Why? Over here, I'm pronouncing it Ashley. Uh, and there it is, Ashley. Oh my god, it's like if somebody's name was Watermelon Nisha, but she it's pronounced Bob. There's something wrong. But she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. If anyone here knows what perfect shits look like, it's us. We're not gonna let you or your really weird insults get to us. Cross the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van, the man. <laughs> and start to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Him, <laughs> a fine band. Well, damn, look at that look. The, damn! You rang, rang. Damn! He looked like he could get a ready for Magic Mike. Damn, he is ready for Magic Mike. What is with that hair? That's some JoJo hair going on. You've never been sure what their arrangement is. But as long as you've known them, Ashley and Vivian have been just as says you and Miriam. But substantially more devious. Well, maybe more devious. Look at that hair. He looked like if he had banged some. If he had bangs, he'll accidentally hit somebody. It'll just star and prey on their forehead. I can't believe that University of Cooking Squirrel, the Academy for Learning, would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know. No, right? You think they just hand us our diplomas now? Me or maybe hire us as professors. You amateurs that learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not a time properly to tell these two off. So you resist the urge. Oh, I really want to tell those two off right there. <sighs> tell him to quit his schooling and join Magic Mike, and her just slap her tits off. But yet again, I'm playing as a big teacher. Let's go, Muriel. <laughs> 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 
See you later, losers. Oh. <laughs> oh, little chubby baby. As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Uh, oopsie. A dig is broken. You reach forward and easily hold the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you! I think you mean thank you. It's a little kid. My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? It must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob. But I guess he's reading it upside down. Hi, Pop. I'm vegan teacher, so... Are you gonna make me hold the door open all day? Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it me or is he just kind of cute? I think it's just you. That's a butterball baby. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other tutors wander in and keep to themselves busy chit-chatting. Here's a KFC bucket. And math. And the world map. What's up world map have to deal with KFC? Oh! It's a corgi! Scuffing looking boots <laughs> takes his place at a podium at the of the class. Adorable. It's a talking corgi. Now, now, quiet down, everyone. My name's Sprinkles. Who is this unreasonably cute pup? And why is he in our culinary class? Why are you not questioning why is he talking? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and a little fluffy, but I still de respectful. And nobody's questioning why is he talking. <laughs> why is it a talking dog? Soon somebody's gonna come in a uh, talking chicken. Is Grimace and the Hamburglar going to come in and have a battle with Colonel Sanders? What a cute dog is our professor. This school is the best ever. I guess uh, only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the new says of fine dying. Oh, what? Cherry blossoms. Out of nowhere, a wind begins to rush around you. A swirl of cherry blossoms fill the air inside the classroom. I feel like I'm doing a D and D session with a talking dog. I'm chilly. Somebody close the window, and then he walks in. Those chiseled cheekbones, those squared-off glasses, all oh, his ridiculously gray. Goatee. 
the installment of sexiness right there before me. I know it's forbidden. I, vegan teacher, cannot love something so deliciously meaty. You immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stood still. I looked into his eyes and it was love at first sight. Oh. It's him. It's Colonel Sanders. If it is it, my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkle. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before you finish the sentence, please call me Colonel. I still won't find it weird. Colonel is spelled that way, but there is no R, but it sounds like there's an R in it. A hush murmur rolls through the classroom. As Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desk, suddenly the room is sweltering with sexiness. I think I just made it to this PG-13. <laughs> yeah, dealing with puppies. Sweet begins to be... Oh. That sweet sweat. <laughs> Some sweetness is beginning to bead. Sweat begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you. And you're not entirely wrong. <sighs> and this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. <laughs> Maybe we should open the window back up before faucet pits. I'm trying to talk a narrative, and I'm having a puppy just maul me with kisses. Stop! I'm trying to record. <laughs> ah! I don't want your kisses. Stop it! You know what? Go over there. Go bug somebody else. This is what happens when you try to record with puppies in a room. Bleah. Puppy cooties. Where'd my mouse go? Flung it. Now where was I, you monsters? Maybe we should open that window back up before... Faucet pit melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Hold on just a second. Nobody talks. Oh, my friend, like that. Mm hmm. And he's just standing there looking cute. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. What is. What is with all your really weird insults? It is weird. Besides, vegan teacher sweats. It's not gross. It's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. <laughs> Thank you, Miriam. Thank you for that weird comment. The good thing you didn't forget about the deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. And again. Stop it, puppies. I know you love me. But I don't want you right now. <laughs> Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Welcome to the University of Cooking Academy of Learning. The greatest culinary Damn puppies. <laughs> you 
You can never record on your own anymore. The birthplace of culinary legends, past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might be even a really adorable tiny food. Oh yeah, the tiny food does look adorable. But yet, unfilling. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift to your sporks and complete the brome cooking arena. Oh, compete, not complete. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor, rousing speech. Is McDonald's? Oh, it's that guy. Hi guys, I'm sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer I really miss. Quiet! Late day class is bad enough for interrupting my monologue. How dare you. You're on a fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school. With you as my teacher. Everyone stares at it blankly. Who is it? Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Damn. Let that be a lesson to, <laughs> to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. Especially when you interrupt his monologue. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the students' sparkles with uh, sprinkles is referring to it appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance that's a robot that is a fucking robot the class bursts into laughter that's a pressure cooker oh thank you rascal Sparkles walks in, walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, his nose lifts his nose to, into the air and takes a deep sniff. <laughs> Your diet is lacking. Face up, what I'm picking up here, you definitely need, <laughs> need a multivitamin. <laughs> you should be taking better care of yourself. He never had a talking dog as a teacher before. A sprinkles reputation for being smart, but tough is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket. But what kind? Chicken snack? Beef treat? Rubber bowl? Eh, let's go with chicken. I had a biscuit. You gotta have the chicken. You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack from your hand. Sprinkles ask goes wide as he locks onto it. His favorite. Well, 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 I think there might be sung a petition for the new star student. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hand slick with a coating of warm chalky drool. You see the other students eyeing you with jealousy. But pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they would have to learn the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. So down, young chefs, take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazement, amazing possibilities of culinary creations. As everyone rushes, to claim their favorite seats you left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hi, vegan teacher. There's a seat here. It seems like no one has cleared the seat next to mine. If you're interested. Oh! Oh! Hard choice. Hard choice. Mm. Do I go with the sex I cut off that nose or my best friend? 
sexy, 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 sexy. Mmm. Oh, this is a hard choice. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its Oh, if he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <sighs> Last one it is. I'm so glad to have you near me. In class, of course you're my best friend. Who else would I sit by? Colonel Sanders? He has such a magnetic personality. And there's a seat open right next to him. If you had to sit there, you might have gotten to know him a little better. I never sacrifice our friendship. Besides, I'm sure I'll get a chance to talk to him later in the semester. I got three whole days. <laughs> That's like a lifetime. Three whole days. How long is this semester? So you say, but now that Miriam mentions it, the Colonel Sanders is just darn dreamy. As soon as you settle in your seat, the make the announcement. Think fast. It's time for a pop quiz. Yeah, pop quiz about me. Hi, pop. This incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you're ready for a life at culinary school. Keep your knife sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question one. Oh god, this is math. The train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A. How important is it to wash your hands before cooking? What? What does trains have to do with washing your hands? But you have to wash your hands always before cooking. Boris is to trees, chicken is to Flame dog? Uh, uh, I do it better. That's right. When is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? Completely <laughs> oversized fork. Meat tenderizer. I don't know if you could eat with a meat tenderizer. You could try. It'd be weird. Spark. What food is the best for broken heart? Camel meat! What the fuck? I go with left. You always cut with left. Sprinkle's a good boy. No, he's a talking chocolate teacher. <laughs> he's the best boy. Yes. Perfect score of five out of five. Yay! Well, be honest, did you cheat? No. This is basic ass shit. look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. Ooh. I impressed him. Now we just met, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. all Hot diggity. <laughs> Teacher, you just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. May I have your attention too, so I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch. That was fast. Wow, the cafeteria is nice as any restaurant you ever eat in that. It makes sense at a school dedicated to cooking, but also serious about eating. The delicious fragrance washes the room, tickles the end of your nose. Ah, 
Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No. I just want to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was. <laughs> Folks, I like to make an announcement. <laughs> Hey, I was oh the poor guy. It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. But I he's talking. Lunch, 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 lunch. He's she says shush. In honor of the new semester, I prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. That must be the smell I smelled. <laughs> Indeed. That smell, the sort of smelly smell. The smells that smells smelly. Bam. Hey, nothing. Hold your breath. We need to see what food this mysterious student has created. You heard that he's very talented. But were the rumors true? We will never know. This is, is this Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Lifts a large bucket above his head. Its content glimmers in the light. Oh, wow. They just food wars. They just food wars. Can't see. Piled high. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken breaded in front to be golden finish. The aroma envelopes you and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket of chicken? What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble as if it says stop thinking and start eating. For years I've developed a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculations nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. Look around and notice that every one other student has a pen and paper and scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I say, all I say about that. Because the 11 herbs and spices is a secret. Always drink water when you're doing a lot of talking. <sighs> what up? Why do you think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Pshaw! Nah, my dude, nah. I swear, that is, is gonna be your voice. What the fuck? I'm just, uh, dropping a last will and testament. Because uh, one of those ingredients is uh, poison. Got out. Looks around nervously. <laughs> to see if anyone else is laughing at a sick burn. They're laughing at you. Look at that face. They're laughing at you. You wait to see what Zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I just like writing in my diary. Dear diary, I today I saw something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realized that he is destined for greatness, fame, with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. Wow. And he looked like he got dissed. Like, damn, I was in love with this chick, but she's going after this dude. Oh, please. Oh, Bam Bam the Man Man. You don't want any. I'll take his. Oh, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. 
takes one bite. His eyes go wild for a wild. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now, there's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one piece of fried chicken out of the, this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing! I, I need some food wars right here. Tasting kernels. And there's food to transport you to another dimension. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> Focus your mind and meditate on this moment. I don't want to identify. Saving the moment and everything that it tells you about kernels. I want every heart. Yes! Because we're wanting the date. The kernel set us. Everything about our beautiful, pure heaven. What a guy! Along with the flavors, you feel something only be described as love. For a man, for a flavor, are they the same? Maybe. You're tasting his food, you try to get some one on time with Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops. What is he doing? He allows you to break the silence. Colonel Sanders, I wonder if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a follow chef. As long as you're not Ronald McDonald. What exactly was on that chicken? <laughs> How bold of you to come out and ask. It's an idea I have for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all times as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. And he has a chicken stack <laughs> pointing away like Moses. Wow. Some of these fellows are gross. And his chicken. I'm on. Oh, wow. So basically, I'm on the second bite. Final bite? Okay. Looks like I can look. Well, I'm gonna take a break here with uh, Colonel Sanders' uh, sexiness right here. Mm. And I'll see you guys later. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.